I have no accounting for how long it rained or if the rain that fell over Dewey and me had swallowed the globe. I only know that after a long darkness, the blush of light appeared in the west, a dim rosy glow that quickly seeded to the night. Clouds thinned and parted, the sky laid bare. My teeth chattered as I straddled the ridge of the roof and gazed up at the stars, crisp and twinkling. It was long since I'd last seen the stars and never had I seen so many so bright. The cosmos wheeled in capillaries of fire, luminous dust haphazardly strewn, all that cold celestial light reflected upon the mottled surface of the sea. Boundless water and boundless stars, maybe somewhere up there the children were eating cake. A great calamity would befall the world. That's what Joe Sam had told me. He'd wanted to clean the slate as God had in the time of Noah. Was this rain his bidding? Or had God, craving relief from what we'd become once again, drowned us in our wickedness? I thought of Nally Sandoval, not the woman I knew or the actress, but the girl on the boat screaming up at a God who spoke only in wind. Like that girl, I wanted to hear the voice that once commanded Noah. I wanted to glimpse the face of God. When I tried to imagine God's face, I could only picture Mama, her kind eyes peering down from the utter dark. I could feel her hand caressing my cheek. Are you hungry? Are you warm? Do you know that I love you? Say the words, touch every cheek for a thousand years of peace. But no face showed itself, no caressing hand. I peered up into the night's shimmering shroud and gleaned only the profound emptiness spanning the galaxies of ice. What if there was no God? The rebelling climate, this rain, this nexus of our greed, and the denial of inconvenient truce, these wars from nations ruled by psychopaths prodding us like scorpions in a tub, their whims of killing nothing that would ever lead to peace, death begetting death in the battle of the dreams. Please, I beg the stars, show yourself. Tell me how to heal the anger and pain, how to not be afraid. Please, God, just one word, one word. The sky hung silent. Nothing stirred in the pitch vast station but the spectral lights of stars long dead. Confounded in this clamp of ancient light, I cursed the sky, my screams quickly melting into a lifetime of tears held damn, a spate of tears for a flooded world, tears to flood a world. I wept beneath the still mute heavens. The stars faded and the sky succumbed to peerless dark. For a time, blackness engulfed our little floating hut. Then a crescent of dim light broke from the vault of the sea. And the timid light swelled in a molten fan, spreading upward and outward. The black sky washed gold, gold lacquered to water as the sun breached the horizon. The sun's warmth through tendrils of smoke from the frigid waters, curling, drifting higher. Smoke rose from the sea like a million ascending souls. Curtained in souls, my own soul draw upward. I thought of all the people I'd ever known. I put names to the faces in my mind and considered all those I couldn't recall, the soldiers and teachers and welders and bakers, firefighters, farmers, mothers and preachers and pilots and clerks. All in all, the people I'd known had been reasonable and kind, occasionally inspiring and even when confused or ignorant and even sometimes violent, rarely were they so bad as to deserve this world of destruction into which we've been born. Adrift into that, in, in that sea of souls, I knew in my heart the people were gone, and with them passed every scrabbling hope and malformed belief to empires and cultures, laws and gods, death decreed that eventually everything was erased. If you fought in war, you fought over nothing. If you died in war, you died over nothing. But what if Joe Sam was right about this one thing? 
What if we could start anew, be born again into a world cleansed of all the fictions of history and old toxic dreams, politics gone, churches gone, no capitals or courthouses, no currency or borders over which to war? My only belief then would to believe in nothing so much I'd ever again kill for it. Thank you.